Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm showing you the favorite, my, well, my favorite lures and soft plaques by Australian Bass. So first thing is, I always carry my hard body lures in a big plastic carry case, as you can see there. And so we'll go from top to bottom. So first thing is we have the surface. So I like to carry a lot of these Tiemco soft shell cicadas, as you can see there. These are really good for um, up, flicking up into the structure during late afternoon and early morning. They're great fun to use, you can see the big bass smashing them. And then we next have is Saku Cicada. These are awesome, very durable, cast well. This is my, these are my favorite lures, the Saku Cicadas. As they're the same as the Chemco. Very good for late afternoon, early morning, casting up into the structure. Then we have the Jelly Cicada. Awesome lure. They're not as durable as um, the Chemco and Saku, but they're still great lures, as you can see. Awesome, got nice wings there. Then we have some more Saku cicadas and a River to Sea, tailor made River to Sea uh, hard body surface lure. So this is made out of wood. This is great for cars up into the trees and late afternoon, early morning. Very durable. And then we have. Another awesome cicada. These are great as well. Really sharp hooks. And some more sakus. So as you can probably see, my favorite bass lures are actually cicadas. They're awesome, I absolutely love them. We've got poppers. So these are, I think these are savage. Savage poppers. Awesome little make plenty of action we got more natural color there and more saku cicadas so now we just have a little 3b scum dog walk the dog style or some little lures so you cast this up into the branches and the structure and work it back and forth and it's a surface lure so the bass smash it and it's awesome lure it catches big bass the Arbogast Jitterbug in black. Awesome surface lure. These are really hardy and durable. It's tough plastic and a metal front. And these are good for nighttime. I find these my favorite for nighttime and early morning. Next we have uh, Tiemco in another natural color. So this Tiemco is in brown and black. Awesome lure. Then we have a deep diver. These are really good for trawling along the big rivers up at Tweed and all around the area. Got plenty of action, it's got a nice rattle to it. And so as you can see now we're moving into the divers. So next is a little savage uh, mid deep diver awesome colors nice eyes and another atomic diver these are really good trolling lures these ones I think he's a 50 millimeter really sharp hooks and then and then we've got another hard body which is speckled a yabby imitation lure. These are really natural for your dams. Um, this is a mini pop 65. Awesome lures these are. Cast well, make a really good commotion. A cricket imitation lure, so this is awesome. How cool is that? You can see that. It's got legs, 
And I just, I'm not too sure what this one's called, but really natural looking this one. Some more hard bodies, a Saku in a prawn colour and a shallow diver. Really good for the shallow water. Another Saku diver in a purpley colour. Really good for impoundments. Nice colour. Yeah, but. And a, this one is a 3B puppy dog. I think he's a 50 millimeter as well. Awesome trolling lures. And so they're mostly my divers and surfers, and I've got the bigger ones. Um, next we move to the spinner baits. So I've got a nice selection. Awesome spin rate. These are really good for murky water. And they have plenty of vibration and like flash with these two blades, skirt and a uh, paddle tail with soft plastic on it. So I have, I think, two of these. Awesome. I think these are called jig spinners or beetle spinners. Really awesome. So you can attach one to any soft plastics and they just make a bit more commotion for the dirtier water. I've got a couple of these ones. So they're the spinners, divers and surface lures. Next we move to the soft plastic side. So I always carry a nice handful of soft plastic so I've got the Atomic Rippers. Awesome soft plastics. Squidgies. These are really good finesse, so cast them up along the banks, dirty water. I prefer the um, paddle tails like this one here. Rigged with a jig head. Or you can go weightless as I've got this. Really finesse weightless ones are. And a Tomic prawn imitation lure. Awesome. An orangey black. I think these are two inch atomic ones. Another of the prawn imitation but in a sparkly colour. Uh, Z Man. Ten times tough and black and gold. These are really good. Uh, in the dirty water. And the Z Man ten times tough white uh, curly tail soft plastics. Awesome, I think these are three inch pearl color it says. And the leader I run is a t is 10 pound uh, FC Rock leader. This is amazing leader, it's about $25 but I highly recommend it. And I use a double uni for that. So these are mostly my lures I like to use whilst chasing Australian bass. They work really well, I absolutely love all of these. So, my favourite would be the cicadas, the surface lures. They provide plenty of imitation. They're really fun to see the big bass smashing these. Thanks guys for watching my little video on my favourite lures for Australian bass. So make sure you like and subscribe for more and I'll be doing more of these types of videos. And so tell me down in the comments section below if you like these types of videos. And I'll see you next time.